Namaste everybody. I have a mat underneath here if you want a blanket. We're gonna do a nice uh, deep stretch. Yin. We're gonna hold the postures for five minutes today. So grab a couple blocks and a bolster and get settled in. And then hop into child's pose. Big toes touch. Knees can touch, knees can spread. Just like yesterday, if you want, you can place these blocks underneath the forearms, underneath the palms to help open up. You can also place a bolster under the torso. And if you want to tilt the head left to right, I'll let you know when you're halfway done with this posture. Close your eyes. Deepen your breath. A slow, methodical breath. An oceanatic breath. With every inhale, begin to breathe in a new life. A fresh start. An opportunity to live this life without regret, without fear, without any hesitation. A life full of abundance. A life full of joy, peace and harmony. Today's intention is vulnerability. Begin to breathe and manifest that vulnerability. Continue to sink the hips, the heart, lower down to the earth. And already begin to feel the transformation of relaxation, of calmness peace, of serenity. And begin to follow the steps of mindfulness. The first one is just your breath. Begin to count your breath. And we'll go through a series of box breathing. Go ahead and exhale here and release all the still air all the negative energy, all the toxins out of the lungs, out of the life. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for two, one. Now inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for four, three, two, one. Now exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for four, three, two, one. One more time. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale, let it all go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause and hold for four, three, two, one. Now continue on your own. Now if you have your head tilted to the left or the right, go ahead and switch it. You're halfway through. Come back to your breath. Come back to that heartfelt intention. And just allow yourself to be peaceful here. To really be vulnerable. That being vulnerable is truly being real. That being raw and authentic is being vulnerable. You can just be yourself. You don't have to hide behind a masquerade, make up clothes, a job title, a place where you live. You can just be yourself. You can truly be yourself. And realize that you are loved just as you are. And that you are accepted for just who you are. 
slow down the breath and just observe anywhere in the body that you maybe hold in tension and just let it go through the jaw, through the hips. The feeling of numbness and tingling is completely, totally normal. You should never feel pain, mentally, physically, and spiritually. The concept of productive discomfort I bring up almost every single class. And that's where you find like an edge. You find before you're going to cause pain and you step back. Or you stay right there. But yoga is not just about what you do here on the mat. It's what you do all throughout your day, your life. You should never cause pain to yourself or others on any level. of all the expectations and release your attachments to success and all your attachments to failures so you can just be right here and be vulnerable. Exhale, sink down as low as you can. Inhale, slowly come up into a tabletop and just remove any props that you have. Shoulders over the wrist, heels over the toes. And inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, crown of the head high. And exhale, cat pose, drop the heavy head and begin to curl your spine. Inhale, cow, lower the heart, open the clavicle as much as you can. Exhale, cat, press firmly into the hands, broaden the shoulders, bring the navel to the spine. Now continue on your own where the length of your breath, it mirrors, it matches the length of your movement. Slow, beautiful, organic breaths. Slow, beautiful, organic movements. And feel free to sway from left to right, right to left, slowly and gently. And inhale, come back to a tabletop, and as you exhale, lower all the way down to the earth into Sphinx Pose. We're going to do a little shoulder stretch, so have a block or a bolster or a blanket, whatever you need, in front of you for your forehead. So tuck your tailbone, relax the lower, lower spine, draw your shoulder blades back as much as you can, palms are down on the earth, tops of the feet are down. And take that right palm next to that left elbow, left palm over to that right elbow. Walk out as far as you can and then re relax the forehead. Take your toes, push yourself a little bit more forward, then relax the tops of the feet down. And just allow the back of the heart and the shoulders to open up deeper and further. And so much stress that you've carried this entire month, year, maybe for a decade or two. Things that you're still hanging on to in the past, just let it go and allow it, allow it to fall off the shoulders and I begin to allow this earth to absorb all of it, to compost it, that it takes any of that negative energy, any of that toxic energy, any of those thoughts or those feelings and it begins to repurpose it into something more useful, something that you and others can use in your harvest. Sink down just a little bit lower. Breathe a little bit deeper. And just become aware of all the sensations that are occurring. Externally, the temperature of the room, maybe the warmth of the sun shining in, the contrasting textures between a blanket, a rug, the floor, a yoga mat, a block, any props, the clothing of your skin, the hair follicles, any jewelry, rings, watches, necklaces, earrings. Become aware of all the sensations of everything that's touching your skin and how it feels. And become aware of that. And become aware of how you feel inside. That you're finally beginning to feel whole. You're finally beginning to feel complete. You're finally beginning to feel completely, totally in tune. That every time you come to this mat, you connect, you bond, you yoke on an entirely different level, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Just fall in love with who you are right here, right now. You're more than enough.
when those memories pop up that are negative or toxic or triggers, just let them go. Let them fall off the shoulders. They're no longer a part of who you are. You truly start fresh today. You truly start new today. If you want to increase the intensity, you can walk those palms out a little bit further. Stick the toes and push yourself forward a little bit more. And then just relax the tops of the feet down. And tuck the tailbone again. And remember, productive discomfort, not pain. If this is causing any pain, you can do this on your back and you just hug yourself. Like that variation of Eagle we did a couple of days ago. It's the same thing. You just hug yourself, but you're laying on your back. If you have any shoulder, arm, any kind of issues, surgeries, just find an option that works for you. Find the ability to just be centered and grounded. Exhale, melt all the way down into the earth. Every inhale, once again, we define ourselves. We define ourselves with our intention of being vulnerable, of truly being vulnerable within ourselves. Take one more exhale, melt down lower. Inhale, slowly gently walk back up to Sphinx pose. Shoulders are over those elbows, palms are down, tuck the tailbone. And we'll switch sides. Take that left palm over the right elbow, right elbow out. Walk out as far as you can, take the toes, press yourself forward, and relax. Relax that forehead on the block, a bolster, wherever you're at. Blankets. And you come back to your breath. Come back to your observation. And then we build awareness. So once again, the feelings of how this really feels numb and tingly in my arms. I feel like the arms and the forearms and the wrist are asleep. That's completely, totally normal. At the point where I feel pain, I back off. And I roll over to my back if I need to. Or I come back into Sphinx pose. You find productive discomfort throughout the day. You breathe slower and deeper. Throughout your whole day, you build the awareness of all the sensations that are occurring around you. The feelings externally, and the feelings internally. Of what you hear, the sound of my voice, the playlist, the other sounds in this room or your room, wherever you're at the cars, the people, any pets, animals, air conditioner, heaters, all those awareness of all those things that sometimes we just neglect. The sound of nature. As the snow begins to fall off, all the pines and the evergreens today, of how they sound when they hit the ground. The sound of the creek in front of the house, and the cars that drive by this earth truly provides an opportunity for comfort, of nurturing. You hear different. This earth sounds different. Feel free to intensify if you can, if you want. Walk out those palms a little bit further and push yourself a little bit further up and just relax again and deepen the breath. And listen to your heart, listen to your body, listen to your mind and your soul. And what are you telling yourself internally? throughout the day with your intention of what you set first thing in the morning. Do you remind yourself that you're strong? Do you remind yourself that you're bold? That you're more than enough? That you're empowered? Remember to stay positive. And you follow that flow of respect for yourself, of honor and pride, so you can give that to others.
and allow yourself to melt further and further down into the earth to reconnect. And that any fear, any guilt, any shame that you're carrying on your shoulders, let it go. Just let it all fall off. Let this earth absorb all of that to compost it. That we set ourselves up for success for next year. That tomorrow, today, next month, next year, we truly start fresh, we start whole, we start complete. That we're not carrying around all the burdens, all the baggage, all the negative energy from last year, the year before, decade to two. Letting it all go. Give yourself this opportunity to grow further and deeper. To love further and deeper. To find more passion and more creativity. To breathe deeper. To live life on an entirely different level. The life you truly dreamed of. The life you truly adore. Is your next breath away. Your next belief away. And your next behavior. It starts right here today. Live life to the fullest. Live life full of freedom. Exhale, melt down as low as you can. Inhale, slowly, gently come up into Sphinx pose again and just let all that numbness tingling. Feel free to sway a little bit if you need to. Open up, draw the shoulder blades back as much as you can. Relax that sacrum. any props, slowly gently come up into a high plank, one breath, inhale, and exhale down dog. Just begin to pedal it out here, sink those heels down, kind of sway from left to right, right to left. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, right leg rises, exhale, we're going to a half pigeon. Now if you want to go into a full pigeon, you can grab your strap place your strap around your ankle and pull forward. This is not in my wheelhouse yet, but this is how you eventually get there. But today I'm just going to do a nice restorative. So, heels into the groin, right wrist, right knee, and just sink here. And just pause here for a few deep breaths. Take your time and just begin to open up through the hamstrings, through the quads, and when you're ready, come down to a bolster or a blanket. It can be whatever is comfortable for you. And just feel a connection with the earth below you. Feel a connection with the heavens above you. Feel a release as you surrender fully and totally. Once again, knee issues, hip issues, anything that causes pain, you can do this on your back. And you just hug that knee in. You can actually use a strap as well. Come back to your breath. Come back to your intention of vulnerability. And just a general observation of how good you begin to feel. How good it is just to let things go. A lot of times, through these postures, memories from the past, past relationships will pop up. Mother, father, grandmother, lovers. Just let it go. Just be in that breath in that moment and find an opportunity to love them and love yourself unconditionally. To accept the situation and realize that we always do our best and that we've learned from it. We compost it. We repurpose it. We use it for something more purposeful. Begin to feel that stretch now, deeper and deeper through the psoas. Mm -hmm. The IT band, the hip flexor. Yesterday we did the foam roller, so today we're opening up just a little bit further and deeper. Go into that next level, the productive discomfort. bodies like mine, you should really feel some numbing and tingling down through the feet and the ankles, the shins, the calves, where the whole lower leg feels asleep. 
but you're more than halfway through. And this is really where all the growth, the healing, the restructuring, the rebuilding begins to occur. Breathe slower and deeper. And go back to the awareness of all the feelings that are occurring externally. The things begin to feel different. With the sun shining on, it's a little bit warmer in here now. There's a little bit more pressure deep into that psoas, down into the glute. More pressure on my forearms. But I also feel so much more relaxed, more calm, more trusting. More loving. We take our time as we transition. We take our time with our breath. We take our time in all aspects of our life. Of being mindful. Of being present of being vulnerable. Exhale, melt down to the earth. Inhale, slowly walk up to wherever you need to get. Engage that left leg and then inhale, three-legged dog. And just kind of shake it out here. Let it all unwind. Mine is extremely numb, yeah? Sink that left heel down. You want to flip your dog, that's in your practice and you feel okay doing that, you can flip. Inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises, exhale to that half pigeon. Release that right leg, once again, if you want to work on your full pigeon, take that strap around that ankle and you're going to pull up and just gently and slowly do that through this whole routine for the next five minutes. It's not in my wheelhouse. Left foot's next to the groin. Left wrist is next to that left knee. And just begin to open up through the right thigh, the right hamstring, and open up through the heart. And just come down whenever you're ready to whatever's comfortable. And deepen your breath further and go back to counting your breath. Inhale in for six to eight seconds, pausing for four to six. Exhaling for six to eight and pausing for four to six. And anywhere in between there that allows you to truly, truly find the opportunity to grow, to heal, to bond. And this side feels different than the other. That's completely normal. Who you are today, you feel different than who you were yesterday and who you're going to be tomorrow. The left and the right are never the same. The past and the present are never the same. The present and the future are never the same. Just find that opportunity for acceptance and unconditional love. The feeling of wholeness and completeness. The feelings externally, the feelings internally. What you hear externally, and more importantly, what you hear internally. And then what you see. The eyes are the window to the soul. You see this earth, your community, more beautiful, more nurturing. You see yourself in that same realm. You truly gaze with a lens of acceptance of who you are. Allow yourself to be calm. And anything that's brought up from the past, any triggers, any toxic, anything negative, just let it go. Just allow that to be repurposed into something purposeful, something useful. Sink further and further. The numbing, the tingling, all those sensations should be heightened right now. The feeling of pain should not occur. Allow your breath to guide you. Allow your heart to be open and the mind to be clear. If you're excited about this opportunity, if you live life like you've never lived before, starting right here with your very next breath, your next belief, and your next behavior. 
breathe through any productive discomfort that's occurring. Surrender. Become raw. Become authentic. Become real. Become genuine. Allow yourself to be more malleable, to be more understanding. To be more knowledgeable. To have a life full of passion and gratitude. Sink further and further into this posture. Exhale, melt down. Engage that right leg and then inhale, three-legged dog. And just let all of it go as much as you can. Flip the dog if that's in your wheelhouse, if you're comfortable with that, if you're open. Otherwise, just let the blood begin to flow. Let the healing process begin to occur. Inhale, three-legged dog and exhale, down dog. Inhale, switch the gaze, exhale, lower down to the knees, come to a seated position, and then make your way to your back. And prepare for Shavasana. Supta Baddha Konasana, supported. You can also use a blanket or bolster, right palm on the belly, left on the heart, or palms up overhead with an infinity of love. And begin to immerse yourself in this practice of mindfulness or throughout your day you are more present you take things a little bit slower you process you're slow to anger you're slow to react you absorb the things in your life become more aware of all of the sensations occurring. Externally the feelings, internally the feelings of what you see externally, more importantly of how you see yourself, of what you hear, your friends, your colleagues, more importantly of what you're telling yourself. And you just follow these steps as you drive, as you shower, as you brush your teeth, as you're eating. You think about your food's journey. And you feel more connected than you've ever felt before. More love than you've ever felt before. More passion. Your life truly transforms from this point forward. You let everything go from your past. So you can be free. So you can be whole, so you can truly be complete. That we start with our very next breath, our very next belief, and our very next behavior. Now feel free to stay in Shabbasana as long as you need to today. This is your opportunity to heal, to recover, to let everything go. Otherwise, if you're ready to continue with your day, slowly and gently begin to reawaken the body. And grace the thumbs over the fingers and wiggle the toes. And find gentle movement in the hands, the feet, the wrist. A symbolism of a fresh start and a new beginning. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead for a long body stretch. As you exhale, hug those knees into the chest and rock from left to right, right to left. Where truly everything is in sync. Everything in your life is in harmony. Inhale, hug those knees in a little bit tighter. Exhale, rotate over to the right side body. 
With the right biceps are full of them, place the left hand on the heart and close the eyes. And anything you're hanging on to from the past, let it fall off the shoulders, let it fall off the hips. Renew the heart, renew the mind, renew the soul. This is truly our opportunity to live life like we've never lived before. Inhale, release that left palm off the heart. Exhale, place it on the earth. Inhale, push yourself up the center, seated at the top of the mat. Continue to allow your breath to guide your movements. Allow your heart to guide your thoughts and your soul to guide your beliefs. The teacher in me loves, respects, and honors the teacher in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you so much for connecting with me. I hope you have an amazing day. Namaste.